A lactation consultant in the hospital setting is generally a nurse that's gone on and worked with moms and babies for a few years and has gone on to do additional education and has sat for a certification exam. For our purposes here, it's generally gonna be the person that's working with the breastfeeding mom in, in the hospital setting after delivery. We see each breastfeeding mom when they come over to postpartum. Um, we're going in and talking to her, asking her a little bit about her medical history. Um, we'll ask a little bit about whether she's breastfed before, you know, she might be an experienced mom, or is this a first time mom? We kind of find what her knowledge base is, and then we um, offer to help with latching, we offer to help with positioning. Sometimes the baby is not ready to feed when we're there at that time, so we might return when they call us to come back and have us see what's happening when the baby's latching. Sometimes it's about education. Not everybody goes to a breastfeeding class so or looks on YouTube or looks on a book, so sometimes a mom might come in with very little idea of what's normal or they might think it's very natural, so this is an easy thing to do, but it often feels very unnatural and you are learning as you're here. Having a lactation consultant in the hospital come to visit you is going to be a person that's going to individualize her care to what you need. So unlike when you're looking online or looking at various books, it's much more general information and knows nothing about who you are as a person and what your goals are. Mary Washington offers a breastfeeding class prenatally and um, this is a class where you're going to learn kind of the basics about um, learning how to latch, positioning, you're going to have um, be the ability to practice with a doll, we're going to have pumps to look at. So these are all things that you can learn um, prenatally. And then once the baby's born and you're here in the hospital, then it's going to be much more individualized to whatever your particular circumstance is. But it's very, very helpful to have a, a good head start before you come in. We have a phone line that um, is available. We call it a warm line, and what that means is as we're in and out of the office to chart, if we notice that there's a message, then we're listening to it and calling, usually within a couple of hours, depending on how often we're in and out. It might be, I'm still having some struggles, it's still hurting a little bit, um, or the baby's not gaining consistently to what the pediatrician is looking for, I need some help. So those are things that um, we can kind of do a little screening type of information on the phone, but then ultimately we're gonna offer an outpatient visit um, and that is another service that we provide. Sometimes when moms come in for an outpatient visit, they're looking for additional support. Things aren't going quite so easily. They need some extra support for whether the baby's gaining slowly or they're still experiencing some sudden discomfort that's seemingly you know, not what they're expecting. And so doing that hands-on, face-to-face, um, it's going to give them a lot better idea of where to go from here. Most consults are about an hour and a half on average. So um, you're, we're going to evaluate what's been happening. We're going to observe a feeding, and then we're going to give them a plan based on their own goals. Our support group is something that happens weekly on our campus and it's facilitated by a lactation consultant but this is not a, a group that's only about breastfeeding it is more about moms and babies and meeting other moms and oftentimes I encourage moms to go just so they can kind of get a glimpse of the future because when they're they have a baby that's very young they don't even envision what's going to happen in the two or three months or four months ahead. So sometimes even seeing other moms and hearing about whatever struggles they're having, and they're able to sort of get a glimpse of, oh, this baby's not just a little one forever. We're gonna grow and it's, things are gonna uh, change rapidly. But often people form friendships that they continue for into the future and even to another child and they ask me, or is the group still going on? So they really enjoy it. One of the reasons I love this job is that I am a part of this mom's journey my goal is to have a mom feel comfortable about leaving with um, a plan. It's very individualized to what's happening in her situation. I mean, it's not simply about showing a mom how to breastfeed or how to latch. It's about helping that mom feel competent and feeling like that she's slowly learning how to mother her baby.